All right, we are going to catch up on some cute demos that we did not get to try during Steam Next Fest, because I only have so much time I can share with you guys during the week. But uh, thankfully, some of these demos were still left, and this was one of them. Check out Cashier Simulator. I know, I know what y'all are thinking. It's like, I mean, of course, Bullseye likes her simulators. But this one actually caught my eye because of the art, but also the mechanics that this game has to offer. That is supposed to be kind of more of like a puzzly sort of game. So this one's gonna be interesting. Uh, the demo is still available on Steam, so you guys can check it out for yourself. Um, but really, it has a story where you're supposed to be able to like, you know, do your shifts, interact with your coworkers, I guess make the store better, etc. But right now we can only really experience the checking out module. I like this is gonna be super cute and short, so it's easy to easy and quick to check out. But uh, all we've got is overtime shift, which is just checking out, so. Oh, let me show you how to play. Uh, scan and bag products and collect payment to check out customers. Compete against the clock to check out as many customers as you can to earn a high score. Drag and drop products by holding the left click mouse button while hovering over a product. Some products can be rotated by clicking the right mouse button while dragging the product. Products can be stored in empty slots. All products need to be scanned to be accounted for in the customer's order. To scan a product, simply move a product over the scanner. Failing to scan a product or scanning duplicate products will receive will result in receiving negative points. After scanning a product, they can be cleared from the workspace by placing it in the bag area and pressing the new bag button. Products that are placed adjacent to products from the same department will receive bonus points. Upon bagging all the products, the customer will provide payment. Payment comes in three forms, cash, credit, and check. After pressing the pay button, the payment must be put in the matching receiver. And simple enough. We'll let the game speak for itself. Yeah, we're just an adorable little cashier. Just working our job. Forgot the music was like this, but that's fine. There, he looks so cute. It is cute. Alright, and then... Uh, I think it's this one. We've been hacked to punch in, like you do at a typical... Oh shoot, no, is that cabbage? Oh no, that's lettuce. Oops. Say, oops. That's lettuce, not cabbage. There's there's lettuce. I almost completely put in the wrong thing, because streamers curse. Alright, we got a lettuce. Maybe bag though. Alright. Already need a new bag. Jump off, have a good one, Sid. Thank you for hanging out. All right, hang on. Music's starting to get to me a little bit, so. I didn't realize it was gonna be that loud. Yeah, it's a little softer, but. I just don't want it to be overwhelming, you guys. Like it was me. Yeah, you can kind of hover over stuff and like make a guess from what department it's from. And then you can see like different different stuff here. Right now I think it is all uh, mouse and keyboard, though. Great match. Yeah, I love all the little sprite work and stuff. Oh, that's a... That's a... What's it? Let me see. And you do have to use the uh, arrow keys. There it is. What is this? Bay leaves. Okay. Yes. Do 
in there. All right, easy peasy. I will be curious to see what kind of other, like what interactions you'll have with your coworkers and such. Ooh, wait. Let's actually put that there. Ooh. Try to matchy match stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's produce. That's produce. What is it, though? Alfalfa? Alfalfa sprouts, okay. Always have to remember to hit the new bag button when they pay. Otherwise it won't count. Do do bunch of little things. Oop, no, that can go up there. Yeah, chat, we're... Uh, what demos did you guys check out during a Steam Next Fest? Uh, that looks like a peach. No, that's a nectarine. It's different from a peach. Nectarine. The one I was probably the most impressed with was a uh, locomotive. There, there are a lot of really cute demos, and some with some really impressive mechanics in them too. It's a lot of coffee. It is. Yeah, as relatively short as this one was, I thought it was a, a good one to show off. Oop, nope. There. Oh, oh, come here. You have to be careful not to double scan. time for those extra points. I remember way back when, when I worked in the pharmacy, people would still check out their groceries in the pharmacy, of course, or we would offer to, especially if they didn't have like a ton of items and we weren't super busy. But uh, I remember um, Target always had this thing where, for whatever reason, um, they wanted to, uh, how do I describe it? Uh, they wanted to be able to sell, like, individual bananas instead of, like, a bunch of bananas. So I always remember that, like, one of the most popular and easiest codes to remember, though I can't say I remember it to this day, 
But uh, I always remember the code for bananas. Come here. Because I was just... I know it was something new that Target was trying when they did like their their fresh, their pea fresh stuff. They're like grocery stuff. Yeah, they just didn't want to sell bananas as a bunch. They wanted to sell them individually. Come on, let me do it. This is the last one. Oh good, they seem to pause the entire interaction if you've finished. Yeah, here we go. No duplicates, no refunds, no missed products. I mean, like, I could probably save a little bit more time, but I imagine that the penalties probably take it. That's actually pretty fast, a minute per average checkout time. Because when I was testing this, I think I was, like, up in the, like, the 60s or the 70-something seconds for this. But, uh, again, that was just one shift with Checkout Simulator. Cute, short. I, I'm going to be curious what the rest of this game is going to be like and, like, what other... I guess complications they might throw at you other than just like having to type in all the individual numbers for your produce or trying to fit it in such a way. I think I remember them mentioning something like there will be like a co-worker's leaderboard or something, which is why they're scoring you points for how you package all your products. But uh, it's super cute. Demo is still available for you guys to check out and I recommend you look for yourself.